with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the three-way color corrector in Final Cut Pro and uh, show you how you can color, color correct some footage. So let's start here. I have my shot. It's basically a girl walking through a museum wall. And the problem with the shot is it's uh, I didn't have any lighting on the set, so the wall looks a little too yellowish and uh, her flesh tones aren't realistic here. So let's... Let me show you how you can fix that with the color corrector. So select your footage, come up to your effects, and go down to your video filters, color correction, color corrector three-way. Now what's so great about the color corrector three-way is that it integrates into color. So if I make changes here in this footage, coming up to the tab in the three-way, uh, it actually correlates with color if I export it to go into there and work in that later all my changes are saved so it's it's really nice to work between the two programs so you see you're presented with these three different color wheels one for blacks mids and whites and at the little bot at the corner of each uh, or the the bottom of each uh, circle you see a little white button and that's your reset button so let me show you I make some extreme changes play with the greens here I can come down to this button and reset it by just clicking that and just a quick tip here, you can hold down the command key and it quickly moves that little mouse instead of going really slowly. So I'm going to reset, reset that there. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to fix here. I first want to get the wall. And so in my color corrector, I can notice uh, this little eyedropper here at the bottom of the whites. It's your auto balance. And I hit the eyedropper and I'm going to select something in a clip that should be white in this case the wall so I select it and you can see it adds a lot more blue in there and to uh, contrast the white and same with the blacks I'm gonna hit the eyedropper and hit something that should be black her hair should be black I'm gonna hit the painting for now and you can see it didn't do much but at least we have that selected and now I just from routine I know that in this shot it's gonna need the mids down a tiny bit add more contrast and the saturations are going to go up a tad. And now the whites, I want to expose a little bit more to bring out the white wall. And you can see as we've done this correction, her flesh still does not re look realistic. And that's in any shot to sell it, the flesh needs to look realistic. Um, that would, that's what makes color correction successful in a shot. If your flesh doesn't look real, the audience is, is going to pick up on that and, and, dis and just say it doesn't look real. They're not going to buy it. So select your clip, and what we're going to do is come down to the crop tool and select your crop and bring it to the bottom of your clip, and you can see the crop symbol pops on. And if it doesn't, you can scroll through your different uh, wireframe options by hitting W. So there, if you scroll through those options, you can also get to them by coming up here. Uh, we're on image and wireframe. So the crop tool shows up, and I'm going to pull it up here and we're gonna make a little box around her face because that's where the flesh tones are we could also go on her shoulder it looks like there were some flesh tones as well okay so we have that area selected uh, it can be pretty small actually because what we're gonna do is come up to our tools and bring up our video scopes and our vector scope is here and you can see in the vector scope this this pink diagonal line and this is actually your flesh, your flesh tones. And that's, uh, you want your, this color right down here, which uh, you can't see much of it, but there's a few little outlines of color. You want that to be lined up on this uh, pink line. So I'm going to move my color corrector over a little bit, or these are two different windows. Bring my color corrector over. We actually don't need to look at the video for this. We're just simply matching up this blob of white onto this pink. So, grab the mid-tones here and start lining it up. I'm not going to go too extreme, just line that up. That should be good. Okay, so, if I pull this over here, we can come back into our Motion tab, come down to our Crop, and reset all that. And you can see what it did. It, it made her flesh tone a little more lively. I would come back into the color corrector myself and fix it a little bit more uh, by 
my site and say that looks a little better right there and see this little I button up here you can select it and look between the two different shots that was the first original shot when it's unchecked and you can see how muddy it looks the wall and this looks a lot cleaner now her flesh tones look a lot better in this but I'm concerned about um, the edges of the wall still look a little bland but I'm gonna bring up my whites a little bit more just to fix that problem and I'm also gonna stylize this effect a little bit more by coming up to my effects video filters and we're gonna add let's see let's go to a stylize and add a vignette and you can see that smooths out the edges a little bit more play through the clip and you can see the shot looks a lot better than the original so that's a quick tip on the three-way color corrector and I hope that helps you guys um, I'm on spring break right now so I'm gonna try to add a bunch more tutorials up this week I'll see you guys later